Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Welcome. Here is the 401 Files. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. This is the construct. It's our loading program. We can load anything from clothing, equipment, weapons, training simulations, anything. Right now, we're inside a computer program. Is it really so hard to believe? Is it really so hard to believe? The best example I can think of is very simple. Just imagine a sheet of paper. And we all live inside that flat sheet of paper. And we just deduce the nature of our world just by looking at things. And watch what happens. You see a dot appear out of nowhere. You say, wow, ooh, ooh. Well, where did that come from? We don't know. We bring out our best theoretical physicists. They're poking it, probing. They don't know anything. And what does the dot do next? It gets bigger. It turns into a circle. And the circle gets bigger to a maximum size. And then it shrinks back down, goes back to a dot, and then disappears. Then all the academics go back to the chalkboards and they try to figure it out. And all it is is a sphere passing through the two dimensions of your universe. So if you sat in a higher dimension, it is patently obvious what's going on. But if you're stuck in the two dimensions of that universe, it is a mystery. Leaving me to wonder what mysteries might lie out there in our universe that are simply other universes bumping into us. Your appearance now is what we call residual self-image. It is the mental projection of your digital self. If you're playing a game and there isn't turmoil and stress and, and then it's less interesting, isn't that right? So here in the real world, we have storms and tornadoes and earthquakes and we have real live things leaving me to wonder whether they're all there for the entertainment of the creator, just so that they don't get bored playing this game. And if you simulate something as precise as the original thing, I don't think actually there is a difference. Uh, this universe could have been created by some super intelligence in another universe. So, so maybe we're, the whole, our whole universe is a junior high school science experiment of some super intelligent junior high school student in another universe. <laughs> 